the ROV descends, we start to see this plume of black smoke. And we're like, yes, we found it. And then this huge chimney comes into view and it's just packed with giant tube worms. Everybody was out of their seats in the control room taking pictures of the screens with our phones. We looked like a bunch of tourists. <laughs> we were. <laughs> My name is Shannon Johnson, and I'm a research technician in Abari, and I'm one of the few people in the world who's been lucky enough to visit many of the most beautiful hydrothermal vents around the world. Hydrothermal vents are probably one of the most extreme places on Earth to live. It's basically an underwater volcano. We would definitely melt apart if we were down in this area, and yet they're inhabited by these amazing creatures. Vents are very special places in the ocean. They act like these little island oases of food for animals because a lot of the bottom of the ocean is just mud. There's no sun, there's no light at all. It's completely pitch black. And these animals that are living on hydrothermal vents, they're completely reliant on this system called chemosynthesis, where bacteria are being fed by minerals coming out of the bottom of the ocean rather than sunlight coming down from the sky. And all the animals at hydrothermal vents are reliant on the bacteria for nutrition. Riftia pachyptala are these giant tube worms, and they're kind of the poster child of hydrothermal vents. They're often four feet tall, so they're very imposing figures in the deep sea. They have no mouth, no gut, and instead they have this beautiful red plume that they use for gas exchange. That's their gills. They pull minerals out of the water and deliver those to bacteria inside of their bodies, and the bacteria feed the worms. Zawarsid fishes are these really cool fishes that live in and amongst the Riftia tube worms. The Riftia are not bothered at all by the Zawarsids because the Zawarsids just help clean them and keep the parasites and things off of them, like the clownfish helps the anemone. Alvanella pompeana are the coolest little worms. They look like little fuzzy wuzzy stuffed animals. They have a fleece-like coating of bacteria that helps protect them from some of the hottest water that comes out of the vents. They extend their gills out into much cooler water, and they do this little dance in between the cooler water and the hotter water, in and out of their tubes, so that they can go into the hot part and extract minerals from the vents, and then go back out into the cooler water and extract oxygen out of the water. So they're like, hot, 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 cool, cool, cool. <laughs> There's nowhere else really like it on Earth where you have these amazing creatures that live right up close to these really extreme environments. Every time we go to sea, we learn new things and find new discoveries, new species, new places, and it's so important to keep going back out there and doing exploration and discovery.